Give it up for Jason Allen. Thank you, thank you so much, you're lovely. Now, I have been up here several times in the past, and after some of the stuff I've said, people have said, wow, I wish I could think like you do. First of all, no, you don't. Second of all, no, you really don't. I mean, it's fun sometimes, but there are also times like, uh, I was in the drive through lane at Burger King, and I would placed my order and was getting ready to drive up to the window to, you know, pick up my order. And I thought to myself, hey, if I were to take my right foot and place it upon the right pedal and push it to the floor as hard as I could, I wonder how fast I'd be going by the time I got to the pickup window. This is not a healthy thing to wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Although it did make me laugh picturing the person at the drive through window seeing a car go by much, much faster than it's supposed to. Before I got to the end of the parking area and hit one of those concrete tire stopper thingies and then just got launched airborne into oncoming traffic. My brain is always trying to get me into trouble. Like, I had to go to this training for work. At the start of the lesson, the person giving the instruction said, Okay, everybody, I want you all to raise your hands as high as you can. Then they looked and said, that was good, but can you raise them just a little higher? And then they just looked at the class and said, okay, everyone, if you could raise your hands higher the second time, why didn't you raise them that high at the beginning? And I am glad that they just asked that question in general to the group, because if they had asked me specifically, I would have said, because no matter how high we raised our hands, you were just going to ask us to raise them even higher. It's the corporate mentality thing. Your first effort is never, ever good enough. So only an absolute idiot gives their very best effort to start. How well do you think that would have gone for me? That would have been a situation where I would have had a long talk with my boss afterward. And I take things too literally. I was finishing up a conversation with someone and they said, say hi to everyone for me. No, no, no. Everyone? Everyone? Do you know how many people you're talking about? Over 8 billion people on this planet right now. Even if I filled up Beaver Stadium. Hey everybody, Billy said hi. Now if you could all exit in an orderly fashion so I can bring in the next group for their greeting. That is a task for a lifetime. I mean, that would be something where my ancestors would have to take over. Descendants. My descendants would have to take over. <laughs> ancestors are the people that came before me, and I'd have to, like, travel back in time and say, like, listen, in about three years, he's going to ask me to say hi to everyone. Could you help me out? And that would actually cause him... Yeah, if I ask someone to help me out with something that I haven't been asked to do yet, that would cause a paradox and tear apart the space-time continuum. You see, normal people don't think like this. Abnormal people don't think like this. I'd be willing to bet people, I would be willing to bet that people in mental institutions don't think like this. But there is something that I do that's fun, and that's what I want to share with you tonight. And it has to deal with how I answer questions. Uh, need a little audience participation here. On the count of three, I want you all to yell out the name of your first pet. One, two, three. Okay, from up here, all I heard was, nah. but why did you answer that? I'm just some random guy on stage. I don't need to know that information about you. See, we are trained since we're little kids to answer questions honestly and accurately. Now, we don't necessarily do that as we get older, like, say, when your wife says, and where have you been for the last six hours? And you know that if you answer honestly and accurately, you're going to be an unsolved mystery. <laughs> but we get asked questions all the time, especially in this digital age when there are so many security questions that we have to answer. And thinking that that somehow makes your information more secure? No. If someone else knows that your father's middle name is Tiberius, guess what? Your account is still getting drained. <laughs> 
So now, whenever I get asked questions, I run them through a little filter. And I think to myself, does this person need to know the real answer? And if I come back with no, then I hand the question over to the part of my brain that loves to cause trouble and say, here, have fun. <laughs> I have had this conversation with my credit card company after some fraudulent charges. Okay, Mr. Allen, uh, we'll get this straightened up for you, but first of all, I have to verify some information here. Uh, your father's middle name? Danger. <laughs> well, yes, we, that, that is what we have. Your father's middle name is Danger? No, of course it's not Danger. I'm not telling you the real answer. I'm just giving you an answer that I can repeat when asked. <laughs> okay, smart Alec. I think we're going to go, have to go a couple more rounds. Bring it on, monkey boy. <laughs> the name of your first car? The Knight Industries 2000. <laughs> K-I-T-T -T for easy reference. Uh, Kit, if you prefer. The name of the street that you grew up on? Blacktop. <laughs> Your mother's maiden name? Single. As in, before she was married, she was single. <laughs> the name of your first girlfriend? Brunhilde von Lichtenstein. <laughs> Name of your elementary school? Hogwarts. <laughs> May surprise you, given my nerdy exterior and the stuff I talk about, I've never read any of the Harry Potter books. Never saw any of the movies. I think it's because astrology was such a big thing when I was a kid, and that got to be too much of a thing. Oh, you're a Sagittarius? I'm sorry, we can't go out. You know, our signs aren't compatible. Really? It's because of the signs? It's not because I'm short, nerdy, unattractive, and weird. <laughs> Don't patronize me. And I just know if I got into the Harry Potter stuff, people would be asking me, are you a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin? And I don't need that kind of question in my life at this point. <laughs> so think about that the next time someone asks you random questions. Uh, what's your favorite color? Clear. Spring, summer, fall, winter. What's your favorite season? Hockey. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Billy. <laughs> <laughs> what year were you married? Put a negative in the number in there. Put the year 3000. Make them think you're a time traveler. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, don't think that you're going to break into my accounts using these answers because I'm not giving you my real fake answers. I'm giving you fake, fake answers. <laughs> Y'all are playing checkers. I'm playing chess. <laughs> True story. I taught myself how to play chess when I was in school because I thought it would make me seem more interesting. <laughs> that isn't one of those situations where my brain's trying to get me in trouble, but it's definitely falling under the category of practical joke. <laughs> Hi, Tim. <laughs> hey, man, I can't help it if your timing was that perfect for a nice little pause. Yeah. Which is good, because that's actually at the point of the routine where I was wrapping up, so the timing all works on it. And if you have enjoyed any of my little bits of lunacy, I do have a TikTok account there. You can look for Jason Allen or at Smart and Crazy. I'm also on YouTube at Smart and Crazy. You can look it up there. Do you have an OnlyFans? No, because I don't need subscribers in the negative numbers. Thank you very much, Tim. Just saying. I mean, crud, I moved this stand out of the way because I didn't re need reminded of stuff that's taller than I am. The picture didn't turn out very well either. Yeah, because it was of me. No, it was the lighting that Amanda did. It, it washed you a little bit. I ain't gonna turn them off. Dude, I'm about this side of being a ghost. <laughs> All right. So, hey, 
All of you people have a lovely evening. Thank you for your time and your attention. Hope you all have a happy Easter, or if you're not religious, hope you have a happy Sunday. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Allen.